2 Timothy chapter 2, chapter 3, verse 16 through 17. I remember growing up as a teenager, and we was a part of this church uh, in St. Louis, Missouri. And the pastor, the, the pastor Porkchop, um, he used to quote this every Sunday morning. This is one of the most favorite scriptures. But now let's read this scripture the way that it should be read. Because if we really read this scripture the way that it should be read, then we shouldn't have all this disease and sickness in these churches, including among the pastors. All scripture. This is according to Paul. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. That's scripture. Okay. Okay. And we have to decipher when he wrote this, uh, brothers and sisters, the only scriptures that was in circulation was the Torah. All scriptures given by inspiration of God. And it's profitable for doctrine. For reproof. For correction. For instruction in righteousness. Why don't why have they never applied this to our health and our nutrition? It is the word of God is supposed to is supposed to give us the correct. What is doctrine? That is a belief system. So our belief system concerning nutrition, health and wellness should be guided by the word of God. Now. Our Hebrew is like brothers and sisters. All praises to the most high. Many of our Islamic brothers and sisters, they have tried to do this through the Old Testament. But they have utterly failed because unfortunately they have been deceived into believing that the doctrine concerning nutrition is simply about what meat to what type of animals to murder and eat and what animals you don't murder and eat. And that is a great deception that is keeping them as fat and sick as the Christian church. Because make no mistake about it, Hebrew Israelites, and I'm including Muslims because they follow the, the Old Testament diet, quote unquote, misnomered dietary laws or the acquiescence of death as it what it should be called. And they are doing no better health wise than the new covenant Christians that they criticize. The, the pastor pork chops that claim we don't have to follow no type of dietary law. But this scripture is saying that all scripture is profitable for doctrine to instruct us. Our instructions of life are supposed to be through the inspiration of God. Amen. Is supposed to reprove us. That meaning rebuke, rebuke, rebuke. I'm sorry, rebuke, reproof. It's supposed to edit our lives. What are you doing wrong? It's supposed to edit it, reproof and correction, which are synonyms. So let's look up here. Let me look up here what reproof, an expression of blame, a disapproval. So it's supposed to show us what is right or wrong. That's what it's supposed to show us. A scolding, a rebuke. To censor, to charge with a fault to the face. See? to promote guilt. The word of God is supposed to make us guilty about what we're eating. You're not supposed to be sitting here throwing anything down your mouth without any type of conviction from the Lord. The word of God is supposed to convict us. That's what that word reproof means. It's supposed to cause guilt. We are supposed to dive into the word of God. It is supposed to make us guilty for what we're doing wrong. Hallelujah. 
And that's why the and that's why people don't like tuning in to the Bible studies. The word of God is supposed to make us guilty for correction. Let's look up the meaning of that word. The word of God is profitable for correction. That means to adjust, to stop wrong behavior and bring improvement in the future. Training, discipline. For instruction. God telling us what to do and what not to do. See, you see how deep this is, brothers and sisters. This use, this misuse and abuse scripture. This is one of the most popular scriptures in the church. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Well, why everybody's so sick then? Why everybody dying from diseases when the word of God says that only the wicked are supposed to die from disease? Believers are supposed to live to a long, ripe age and then die in their sleep, like Moses, like Abraham, like Isaac, like Jacob. Well, Isaac actually had diabetes because Isaac uh, loved meat too much. So Isaac had type 2 diabetes. If you are benefiting from me as your minister of wellness, if I helped you with your health, if you are binge watching my videos, tuning into the services, I am telling you on the authority of the Holy Scriptures, you have a responsibility to help me when you see where your money is going. It's not going towards a fancy car, it's not going towards big homes, it's going towards helping the fatherless, helping those who are in need. And that is a great responsibility that we all have. So again, you know where the, the, the information is, where you can give so that we can provide uh, not only this children's center here, but other children's centers, not only just all across Kenya, but all throughout the motherland and eventually all throughout the world. So I sincerely thank you all for your support. And for those who see this, and you are one of those who continuously benefit from my ministry. I want you to take a look at all these beautiful children here. And I'm telling you right now, if you don't give to help me to be a support to these children, shame on you. And I am disappointed in you. And I know you can do better than that. Thank you. And God bless you all. Doctrine, a system of belief. Reproof means to cause guilt. If you read in the word of God and you three, four hundred pounds or you 50, 60 pounds over your height per weight and you don't feel no guilt, you can just sit there eating yourself to death, popping all these pills from these witches and sorcerers and you don't feel any type of guilt. That's not right. You're not reading the word of God correctly. You shouldn't be destroying your health and then reading the word of God and you don't feel guilty. Correction means to improve. When you correct something, it means you change for the better. And when we read the word of God, it is supposed to inspire us to change for the better. Instruction means teaching, teaching us what to do. In righteousness, the Bible instructs us on what to do righteously. We're not eating righteously in the church as the body of Christ. When I say church, I'm including all denominations. I don't care what it is. Seven day Adventist, Christian, Catholic, Hebrew, Israelite, Yahweh Shai, Yeshua, Jesus, Christ, Yahusha, Ashaya, Ahaya, Ahu, Hiha. We are utterly failing in this area. We are not receiving righteous instruction when it comes to diet. We are not receiving righteous instruction when it comes to eating and live. Oh, yeah, but Minister of Wellness, we teach that we're not supposed to eat pork. That's that's what that's not no, that's the righteous instruction. That's the extent of righteous instruction. 
You sitting, you sitting here dying of diabetes, heart, heart attack, stroke. You have all obesity all up and down your church. But you believe because you don't eat pork and shrimp that that is the extent of God's righteous instruction when it comes to eating and live, eating to live. Not eating pork and shrimp will not ensure that you don't die from cancer, stroke, and that's a stronghold for so many of our brothers and sisters. They can't get past that. And they're suffering and dying to this day. You battling cancer and all sorts of digestive issues. Talking about you ain't ate pork or shrimp in years. You can be a vegan and still be eating a, a heart, a, a disease causing diet. The instruct the righteous instructions of God when it comes to health and wellness is the book of Sirach, chapter 38, verse 4. The most high has created medicines from the earth. He who is wise would not abhor them. Genesis 1 29, the fruit with the seed in it. Then the Lord, because of the hardness of our heart, allowed us to start murdering animals to teach us a lesson, drop the lifespan. But as soon as he brought Israel, the light of the world out of the wilderness, he put them right back on Genesis 1 29. Thank you, Yahshua. Your word is so clear. Then he gives us clues all throughout the Bible about what's coming back when the kingdom comes. But then, of course, we have the scribes of Satan that went into the book of Ezekiel to make it seem like there'll be murdering of animals in the kingdom. Woo! God have mercy on us all. So the Bible, brothers and sisters, the scripture, 2 Corinthians 3, this is key. I want you all to put this on the index card. I'm proud to announce the Minister of Wellness Ministries uh, housing development initiative we are taking uh, poor families here in the motherland uh, living in dilapidated mud houses and we're taking them and we are building for them stone homes we have started on building the first new home for our first family uh, they are excited the ground has been broken for as little as 2,000 US dollars, we can take an entire family out of a dilapidated mud house and we can build for them a brand new stone home. If this ministry is blessing you, if my voice, my gift, my labor is helping you improve your life, use one of the many ways you see on the screen and in the description box to support the missionary work that we are doing to save real lives and families. If you can't bring yourself to do that, despite being blessed continuously by this ministry, get off my channel. No leeches allowed. Second Timothy chapter three, verse 16 through 17, all scripture is given by inspiration of God. And it is profitable, meaning that it is good for, it is supposed to uh, give us an improvement far beyond our current condition. It is supposed to help us be better. So the word of God is supposed to help us be better in our doctrine, our system of beliefs concerning health and wellness for reproof meaning it is supposed to cause us to be guilty about whenever we fall off and we are not taking care of our temple, we're supposed to get guilty when we read the scriptures. And that guilt is supposed to lead us to improve. That's what correction means. For instruction, the scriptures, the Bible is to instruct us in righteousness. Or are you letting the word of God instruct you in the righteous way of eating? Or are you letting the God of your stomach instruct you in, the, in a wicked way of eating? And so therefore your body is riddled with excess body fat. Your body is riddled with migraines, 
heavy menstrual cycles, torn digestive issues, gout, diabetes, stroke. Because you're not letting the word of God instruct you in the righteous way of eating to live. And, and, and we'll let the word of God, the purpose of this is that the man or woman, of course, of God may be perfect. Look at that. See, all of these things, this reproof, this correction, this instruction, the doctrine of the word of God is supposed to make us perfect. How can we be perfect? We ain't perfect in the condition we are. We can't even, we scared of a virus. You, we scared of a virus. Terrified of a virus. We terrified of cancer. We taking all these drugs for high blood pressure. We run to that pole with two snakes right. We're not perfect. We're blaspheming. We're blaspheming. We're not leading people to the righteousness of God. We're nowhere near perfect. We're the laughing stock. People are looking at us and saying, what practical application from those crazy religious spiritual folk is not improving their lives thoroughly furnished unto all good works thoroughly furnished what does that mean it means to supply what is useful or necessary to for to fit out, provide, equip to completely or fully supply. The word of God is supposed to make, is supposed to supply us everything we need to do good works. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Hmm. Ha. The Bible is the greatest health book in the word. The word of God, brothers and sisters, is a system of beliefs that is supposed to cause us to be guilty. It's supposed to bring improvement to our lives. It is supposed to instruct us on the right thing to do. It is supposed to make us perfect. The word of God is supposed to supply us with everything we need to do good things for ourselves, for the Lord and others in our life. How can you possibly read this over and over and over and not apply it to the most critical area of life, our health? What a utter disgrace. What a despicable disgrace our religious leaders, our spiritual leaders have done in this area. The Bible truly is the greatest health book that ever lived. If you're reading the Bible and it is not improving your life, that's what correction means. What are you reading it for? If your belief system can't even help you to survive a pandemic without fear, what are you reading it for? We have everything in stock, brothers and sisters, except for the DHA EPA. It'll be back soon. But all orders are caught up. Our inventory is full. Listen, when you support the Minister of Wellness Ministries online store at the retail cost, it truly helps us out because we use the profits to fund critical ministry expenses, such as funding our missionary work, financially supporting our small team of workers, and paying the thousands of dollars of monthly bills related to running this healing ministry. Running sales are great on rare occasions, 
but overall, they hurt the financial health of the ministry. I know you all love them, but overall, it hurts the financial health of the ministry. So please consider this next time you're in need of supplementation. The Minister of Wellness labeled and approved organic Irish sea moss, organic vitamin C, organic superfood powder, herbal extracts, and much more of the highest quality and potent, a brand you can always trust, but also you can have the peace and joy of knowing that every dime of profit is being used to support this one of a kind revolutionary healing ministry. If you need help placing an order, please call 888-847-8026. That's 888-847-8026. Call or text that number 888-847-8026 or you can visit our vast online store at theministerofwellness.com Knowledge is power brothers and sisters don't forget about your knowledge uh, I am the author of five books Your Minister of Wellness five books Lose 100 Pounds in 100 Days that's a book based on a real life, life testimonial Help the Brother Lose 100 Pounds in 100 Days his exact meal plan and exercise plan is in that book, along with the 12 components of food addiction at the end. Biblical principles that eradicate obesity and all disease. It covers the top killers and how eating healthy a change in what we eat can help eradicate those diseases according to the word of God. Exposing the deadly slave theology of the black church concerning health and nutrition. Uh, Jesus will bless you, your junk food saying grace uh, under the new covenant. We don't need to worry about the dietary laws. These critical theological issues revolving food, nutrition, and our walk with Christ is covered in that book. Exposing the satanic religion of the you know what. Such an important yet controversial book. I can't even show the cover on the screen and then the latest book that I made right here for the motherland is the homosexual war that's being waged to remove Africa from God's divine protection the minister of wellness.com under books the minister of wellness.com under books or call 888-847-8026 call or text 888-847-8026 888-847-8026 Eight four seven eighty twenty six. The Minister of Wellness Complete Detox Package, brothers and sisters, I created this package specifically to help detox from the medical decision. You should realize I'm using, I'm being very careful in using cold language and all toxic overload that taxes our system, weakens our immune system. I put together, I, I had this before due to extreme censorship. I had to use wisdom and I had to bring it back in a different manner, but it is back by popular demand. You get the, the very powerful immune support, detox, gut health, mental health, reduce inflammation, the iris sea moss, the dull seaweed, and then you see that spot there, my book. Again, I have to be smart and use wisdom. This is the book that I have exposing the medical decision, and it has the full detox plan for the medical decision. And this is all of them, all of these poisons that we've taken since our childhood, the overload of toxic exposure that is taxing our system. This is my complete detox package. The Minister of Wellness.com, The Minister of Wellness.com, or call 888 847 8026. 888 847 8026.